Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Every machine in Parker Schnabel's operation is hard at work as his team faces a monumental task, mining through an immense amount of ground. With a target of 10,000 ounces per year to sustain the project's success, there's no time to waste. Parker's crew is determined to extract $25 million in gold this season, but achieving this depends on a critical section of the claim, the long cut. The long cut presents significant challenges. As Parker explains, it's the only piece of ground we have anywhere near pay. However, when the team started mining, they discovered the area wasn't ready. Instead of pay dirt, they found layers of sand and mud, unusable for the wash plant. Parker quickly realized he had miscalculated the depth of the pay dirt, forcing him to pivot and assign his crew to strip a new area, the bridge cut. Unfortunately, frozen pits halted their progress, leaving them no choice but to return to the long cut. Determined to salvage the operation, Parker devised a new plan. He ordered his crew to dig an 8,000-foot-long ditch around the cut's perimeter to drain meltwater and accelerate thawing. The team is now working to uncover pay dirt in these ditches to stockpile for the wash plant. Foreman Mitch Blaschke leads the effort, breaking through permafrost with the only machine available for the task, a 480 excavator equipped with a custom ripper aptly named the Devil's Finger. As Mitch works tirelessly to dig the ditches, Tyson Lee follows close behind, collecting pay dirt to build the stockpile. Parker has set an ambitious deadline, pushing his crew to work harder and faster to meet the demands of the season. Despite their best efforts, Equipment issues further complicate the operation. During ditching, the 480 excavator suffered a catastrophic failure. Mitch hears the ominous sound of gears grinding, and the machine loses its ability to turn. Upon inspection, the team finds the swing motor severely damaged, with sheared-off components and exposed bearings. Repairing the excavator requires separating the upper house from the lower car body, a complex and time-consuming process. As Parker's crew scrambles to fix the excavator, the pressure mounts. Without the machine, they can't continue ditching. Without ditches, the ground remains frozen. And without thawed ground, there's no pay dirt to process, leaving Parker's ambitious gold target at risk. The stakes couldn't be higher. Parker sums up the urgency. If we can't rip, we can't ditch. If we can't ditch, we get no thaw. If we get no thaw, we get no pay. For now, all eyes are on the team's ability to repair the excavator and keep the operation moving forward. Life in the gold mining pits of the Yukon is never without its challenges. And for Parker Schnabel's team, the latest hurdle is a catastrophic breakdown of their vital 480 excavators. As the team fights against time and nature to keep operations running, the urgency to repair the excavator has reached critical levels. Parker and his crew are already battling the thawing permafrost daily to extract gold from the long cut. Tyson, one of Parker's trusted operators, has been digging ditches as best he can, but the lack of the 480's ripper is slowing progress. Time with Tyson here in this pit is a challenge for everybody because right now we're just trying to fight and get enough thaw every day, Parker said. The 480's down right now, and that's not good timing. With the excavator out of commission, Parker has had to get creative, using a loader in ways it wasn't intended for. But even his ingenuity has its limits. Hopefully they're done with that excavator soon because I really need it. Parker added. The breakdown occurred when the excavator's swing drive failed out in the cut, causing damage to the gear tub that housed it. The massive machine was brought back to the yard, where Jenko and the team got to work. He's already ripped the other swing box out, Parker noted, highlighting the team's quick response. 
Now they face the daunting task of separating the excavator's upper cab from its track body to investigate and repair the damage. To separate the 58-ton excavator, the team must unscrew 30 bolts that hold the upper and lower bodies together, install two 23-ton hydraulic rams at the back of the upper cab, use the boom arms bucket to lift the front of the cab, evenly splitting the excavator, Pull out the lower track to fully assess the damage. Jenko explained the process. We're pretty much ready to split it. We just got to break all those bolts loose. With a top section weighing 75,000 pounds, proper blocking and stands are essential to ensure safety. As the last bolt is removed, the team prepares the rams. We've got air over hydraulic the power packs, are high, Jenko with said. every delay impacting the operation's profitability. Parker's crew knows the importance of getting the 480 excavator back in action. Let's get after it because I know they want this thing back in the cut as quick as possible, Parker urged his team. The intense focus and teamwork required to tackle such a significant repair highlight the resilience and determination of Parker's crew. While the challenges of gold mining are immense, it's the ability to overcome setbacks like these that make their efforts truly remarkable. As Parker Schnabel and his crew continue their uphill battle in the Klondike, it's clear the challenges are mounting. The catastrophic breakdown of the 480 excavators has thrown a wrench in their operations, and the team is racing against time to get it back up and running. But even after repairing the swing box, a repair that cost a staggering $203,000, new hurdles await. The frozen ground beneath their feet presents another formidable obstacle, leaving Parker and his team with no gold to process this week. The gravity of the situation weighs heavily on Parker. We've got a lot of problems, he admits to Chris Dowmit, reflecting on the mounting difficulties. With only 5.6 ounces of gold to show for their efforts so far, cash flow is becoming a critical concern. Yet, as dire as the circumstances may seem, Parker's determination remains steadfast. We have a choice between accepting our fate or trying to change it, he says, a statement that underscores his relentless spirit. For Parker, failure isn't an option. Chris, ever the voice of optimism and support, reinforces Parker's resolve. I know you love a challenge. We're going to make this work, he assures. It's a reminder that no matter how tough the conditions, the team's resilience and camaraderie will carry them forward. The frozen landscape may be unforgiving, and the costs of operating in such extreme conditions are daunting. But Parker and his crew know that overcoming these obstacles is part of the job. From repairing machinery to devising strategies for thawing the permafrost, every task is a step toward their ultimate goal, striking gold. Parker's resolve encapsulates the ethos of gold mining in the Klondike. It's not just about hard work, but about refusing to give up, no matter the odds. With their backs against the wall, the team is prepared to dig deep, both literally and figuratively, to turn things around. After all, it's not just dirt they're fighting, it's the fight for their season, their success, and their livelihood. Though the path ahead is fraught with challenges, one thing is certain. Parker's crew will keep pushing forward, proving that perseverance and teamwork can conquer even the harshest of conditions. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay with us.